What's good, you too? It's your boy SMTD Jersey here, and as you can see, I am playing Apex Legends, and um, instead of doing a live com like I usually do, I decided that I'm just going to uh. I'm just going to I'm just going to talk about season 3. Now, I meet mean season 3. Season 2. Now, um I hadn't played Apex for a pretty long time, which is the reason why I did not get the W in this gameplay, I'm just saying. I got kind of clapped at the end. Um We're all inside the ring. Good. Uh the new season has a new ch a new legend known as Watson, who I have not got a chance to play with, but she seems interesting. Like I'm curious about um what she does, which she's known as the Static Defender, which. Which, I can't really explain it. Which, I'm going to be honest, that's like the best name. So, her passive is Spark of Genius. Spark Spark of Genius is pretty... It turns any exce ultimate accelerant from the... What? From the standard 20% recharge of your cooldown into a full charged ultimate. Yo, that's crazy. It also makes that... Makes it's so that your tactical recharges faster when you're standing next near one of the interception pylons. Wow, that's some cheese right there. So you so like you find an ultimate accelerant and you can use her ult more. That's pretty cool. Yo, that's probably like the most OD perk or OD passive in this game. Now that I think about it. Cause say what if her ult was like lifelines, right? Where she could pop down the care packages. Then it would just be care packages everywhere and everyone would have purple loot. So I guess I guess more or less because of uh, that she's a defender and not... Her ult can't be OD. Because if, if her ult is OD, that's a wrap. I'm just saying. Uh, now her tactical skill is perimeter security. I've seen this one. It, you place down little electric fences. Um, um, you can store four charges of it at once. Yeah, so just like caustic. Um, hmm. So the fence posts can actually be destroyed, but what I learned from playing is if you place them sort of behind a wall say like zones like you're say you're in a building area and zone is coming in if you place them on two sides of a wall say like you pl say you're on the outside and you're on the outside but you just Ready, like you know air base not air base but one of those bases over there it's got like walls in the back it's got walls all around it. Say you place the perimeter security on the inside and someone's trying to get in from the outside. They cannot destroy it. They pretty much have to take damage from it. Now, um, you can pick them back up after placing them. Uh, just like Caustic. And they also... They also deactivate when you walk through them which makes sense so you don't take damage and your teammates uh, um but enemies who pass through it obviously takes damage and is slowed but it will also notify you or you and your team now her ultimate is the interception pylon which it's sort of like it's it's like okay okay hold up 
So it's basically like a big old pylon that just kinda does everything. <laughs> it zaps down, that zap downs any grenades thrown in a large area. So it's basically like, shoot, a trophy system. And it also just wipes, it wipes off Bangalore and Gibraltar's ultimate grenades, which is crazy to me. Um, it also gives you shield regen. And get this, you can have three of them. So they recharge, and it recharges your ult, or not your ult, your tack. Tactical, faster. So that's pretty great. Now... Let's just Watson is a great character. New kill leader. Go on, watch out. But is she She kind of she kind of only really meshes with Caustic. Obviously Pathfinder cuz Pathfinder doesn't have a problem with anybody and Lifeline because if you use well that's the main characters that she's good with. Now, blood like Bloodhound, the obvious, you can use that. Um, Pathfinder, like I said, you can use that. Gibraltar and Bangalore, you really shouldn't use that because her ult counters their ult. So they accidentally pop their ult right after you pop your ult. It's going to be sticky. So I wouldn't use those two. Mirage is fine. No one really plays Mirage. Um, Caustic is fine. That's just Trap Central. Now the thing about Lifeline is, is her fences, they have to be taken out before, like, you can go for the Lifeline. So it's it's basically a double shield, because Lifeline already has a shield when going to revive teammates. So it's basically a double shield, which basically almost guarantees that you're getting up. Now, the... Now, I'm going to stop talking about Watson for a little bit, and I'm going to move on to uh, how I feel about, I don't remember the name of that gun. I don't know how long it's been in the game, actually. I'm just going to talk about it because it's been a while since I played this. Uh, shoot, hold on. let me get the name of it real quick. Uh, the L-Star Plasma. Oh, yeah, it is a new gun in Season 2. Okay, sweet. It is a new legendary... It's a, it's a legendary gun, so you can only find them in the supply drops. But, oh my gosh. It's like a low... It's like... It's not even like a baby minigun. You know, like... You know how, like... Gatling guns, you have that wind-up speed? Well, like... There's no wind-up speed. It just shoots ridiculously fast. And because it's a supply drop weapon, you have... I think I used it so many times. I had like 120. You have like 120 ammo. Uh, 120 ammo. 40 and then two more clips. So yeah. Plus, it is the most... It is the least rare... <laughs> of the items, because I swear I opened like nine supply drops and only got the L Star and gold armor, and it was really starting to make me mad. Because I wanted to use a Kraber because my daily challenges said I needed to get 300 damage with a sniper, and I was not using any other sniper but the Kraber, and I never got the Kraber, so I never did that daily challenge. Kind of upset. Yes. Yes, I am. Um. Okay. Now we're going to move off of the guns. I don't think they did any tweaking with the guns itself. It doesn't feel like it, at least. None of the guns felt different when I was playing with them. Uh, when I was playing with them. And I only played for like uh, two hours. So I didn't really use all the guns. I used the guns that I was comfortable with. So we're going to go on to... We're gonna go on to the new things around the map, like the uh, like the uh, shoot. I don't know what you would call them. What are they? 
pterodactyls or dragons? I know I call them pterodactyls, but Andrew calls them dragons. I mean, SMT Eclipse calls them dragons. Um. Um. More cravers. Oh snap! So, so the craver you get in earlier drops, and the master in the end game. That's crazy. Uh. So I can remember what I was going to talk about. Um, now, the dra the dragons or pterodactyls, whatever you call them. It's an interesting mechanic because of the fact that they carry the loot of dead, of dead um, people. Right? It's interesting. It's, it's very interesting because of the fact that they do that. So, would that be so? I don't know how I. F I feel like they're perfect, really. But like, I felt I thought you were supposed to like kill them like completely to get loot, but you really just have to shoot their legs to make them drop the items. So it's like, eh, eh. you know, I feel like that could that could still be used them. Um, dropping items after you finish them off. Um, they added a lot more mods since the last time I played. Like, um, hammer point rounds for the P2020 and the Mozambique. It actually makes those guns not a pain in the butt to use. They also added disruptor rounds. I haven't used it yet. So, I don't know what to know about that. I don't know what to say about that. I also don't know if there's any other mods. Because those are the only two new ones I found. Let me see. Doesn't look like it. Now, they did make it a lot easier to get energy ammo. Which kind of surprises me. Because it's really... I don't really like... Uh, I don't really like... I mean, most people don't really, really don't mess with the energy weapons. I mean, some of them are good. Some of them are good. Now, I know you're just sitting in the lobby, but I didn't want to get another game because after that, I just was done playing Apex. Now, um, the thing is, is I feel like the big old dinosaur thing is kind of weak in my opinion i i thought he was going to be a threat to f for us to get stepped on you know i thought it was a i thought it was a threat but it, he doesn't really move so like i'm not really threatened by him i mean yeah it's cool when when he when you start up a game and the spot that you normally go to is destroyed and you have to go to a different spot. But man, it's kind of, it's kind of dumb. I just don't, I just don't like it. Unless they made them walk faster. Not, I'm not saying walk like the Origins robots in Black Ops 2, but like closer to that speed. So he can actually have, a, we can actually have a threat for him to stomp on us. I feel like that would make it, him seem a lot more interesting. And, um, all in all, season two, it's kind of got me back into Apex, just a little bit. Now, I don't really see anything else that they could do to make the game seem any better. The game seems pretty, seems flawless to me. I don't see anything that is too bad. Now, I, now, I didn't even know I wanted or needed ranked leagues, but now I want ranked leagues in all games. Like, just imagine ranked leagues in, like... Well, I guess most games kind of have ranked leagues. Now that I think about it. Or skill-based matchmaking. Most games do. And... I guess now that that's a thing...
uh, now that that's a thing that most games are trying to do, it's kind of it's kind of good because I think that skill based matchmaking is great because that way I don't have to worry about getting sweat stomped by actual sweats, and I can just I can improve as I'm playing against people my skill level because playing against people worse than you doesn't make you get any better. You actually get somewhat worse fighting against people that are on your skill level. So fighting against uh, fighting against people of similar skill level is how you get stronger. And you learn new tactics. Now, um, that is how, that is how you gain new tactics is by doing all that. I think I might have put the same clip in. Eh, it's fine. Um, so I feel like, but as you improve by playing in ranked leagues, you get better, and then you play better people, and then you continue. So you just keep getting better over and over, over and over and over and over, and then it becomes a cycle. So ranked leagues is great, like Arena Cup and Fortnite and all that. It's great. In my, I just feel like that's that's wonderful. The only thing I don't like is when people make Smurf accounts to go beat up on the lower ranks. It's kind of stupid. But other than that, I don't have a problem. And I just think right now Apex is in a really, really good spot. And I'm probably going to start playing it more, but I'm probably just not going to upload it as much. But with that, being, with that being said, I'm officially out of here. And I'm out. Peace out. Tell me pretty lies. Look me in the face. Tell me that you love me. Even if it's fake.